Ethiopia has transformed its seed sector. Since 2009, an international consortium of partners has worked to improve Ethiopia's food and nutrition security, income, trade and resilience. The result is an almost 70% boost in crop production and increased diversity in the range of crops and varieties for which quality seed is on offer. The Integrated Seed Sector Development Programme in Ethiopia is a strong bilateral partnership between the governments of Ethiopia and the Netherlands, which draws in universities and research, industry and civil society from both countries. Together, these partners have improved the availability and use of quality seed of improved and preferred varieties for more than 4 million farming households. The effort is based on an approach that you'll learn about here and that delivers lasting systemic change. Overcoming complex challenges and raising the performance of an entire sector to a higher level requires a multifaceted approach. In Ethiopia here, there is complex problems related to seed sector. We organize national seed advisory team from different organizations, leading by ISSD. They came up with a strategic solution to seed sector related strategic problems. By now, we are in a phase of preparing to implement that strategic solutions. The strategy and program of activities of ISSD Ethiopia follow an approach which Wageningen University and Research, the lead partner in the consortium, calls guiding sector transformation. Guiding sector transformation begins with changing the mindsets of actors in the sector. Producers, traders, service providers and policy makers need to see the benefits of thinking at sector level. These actors are supported by ISSD Ethiopia experts from multiple disciplines with applied knowledge on seed production, business and marketing, value chains and governance, along with the skills to transfer their knowledge and facilitate stakeholder collaboration. Wageningen University and Research Advisors are systems thinkers, so they're trained in dealing with complexity. This is what we bring to the consortium. By applying a range of analytical tools and methods, we reduce complexity from time to time when practical action is needed, but doing this without losing sight of the bigger picture. Through this support, ISSD Ethiopia builds close relationships with actors at all levels. These relationships are the foundation of the program's innovations. So transformation requires action on a number of fronts. A well-performing sector needs an organized base of producers, viable service delivery models, markets that reward not only quality, but also sustainability, and uh, good governance, really. Ways to coordinate developments in the sector. Let's take a look at some of the innovations from across the sector. One of the challenges, it starts from the production system. When you see the production system, there is a, uh, only few uh, public and private enterprises which are engaged in seed production. Because of this, uh, still we can't uh, ensure the demands of our uh, farmers for quality seed production. ISSD Ethiopia delivers tailored support to the full range of seed entrepreneurs, ranging from small and medium-scale private seed producers to national and international breeding companies. From seed producer cooperatives and unions to state-owned enterprises. One important example is how the program has deployed the model of local seed business to organized farmers, with support leading to major improvements in performance. Within the first two years of support, production of quality seed doubled. Now they are not serving as outgrowers, but they produce and market by themselves and they take seed as a business in addition to their normal farming activities. All in all, this seed producer cooperative substantially contributed to local availability of quality seeds 
or farmer preferred varieties. A well-performing seed sector relies on the provision of viable, high-quality services. These can include research and advisory services, input provision, financial support services, and, also of great importance, seed quality assurance. ISSD Ethiopia and partners engaged intensively to improve the delivery of inspection and testing services for seed producers. These activities develop the momentum for structural changes in the way seed quality and assurance is organized. We identified seed quality as a major problem and to help this, we facilitated the establishment of regional seed regulatory authority in uh, three of the four regions that we are working with. We in Amara, in Oromia, and uh, in Sour Nations, Nationalities and People region. And we have been also supporting the seed regulatory authorities to be strengthened technically and uh, also in capacity development like laboratory equipment. Today, how farmers get their seed is in stark contrast to 10 years ago. Public and private seed producers have been supported to start selling their seeds directly to consumers. ISSD Ethiopia piloted the system of direct seed marketing as an alternative to the more centralized planning practiced in seed allocation and distribution in the past. The program supported this radical change through developing seed producers' entrepreneurial skills, product promotion and marketing, and by improving businesses and financial management. By doing that, it has also increased the responsibility of the producers because they are directly selling to the farmers, so they feel responsible to provide quality to farmers. By taking up the marketing of their seed, producers have seen increased sales, improved customer satisfaction, and a marked reduction in costly carryover of unsold seed, sometimes by as much as 85%. Increased sector-wide coordination among multiple actors has improved governance and transparency. New coordination bodies at national and regional levels have been formed giving space for dialogue, planning, and experimentation. One example of this is the regional core groups that unite key decision makers from government, industry, research, and civil society in taking action in their regions. The regional seed core group identify and prioritize innovative ideas and also facilitate the piloting of this innovation. As soon as they find that uh, there is potential in some of these innovative ideas, then they scale up those innovations which are successful in the regions. The regional core groups play a key role in shaping national level strategies and policies. A new national seed advisory group ensures that the government has the information it needs. There is a positive trend of recognizing the need to have uh, a well-established governance system at all levels in the country to enhance the seed sector performance. There are very important issues. So uh, as a ministry, we are committed to uh, incorporate the plans which is recommended by the National Seed Advisory Group. Uh, as much as possible, it is important for the promotion of our uh, seed sector. Taken together, these new coordination bodies have enabled the formation of the Seed Sector Transformation Agenda, the next step in the sector's journey. The ISSD Ethiopia program and its partners have exemplified what can be achieved when working together. Learning has been a key element in this journey and there are important lessons to take away. After many years of uh, experience in guiding sector transformation, we've learned three important lessons. First is embrace systemic change. Take tomorrow as your point of departure and your vision for the future rather than today's problems. The strong partnerships are built upon ambitions and desired outcomes. 
It's important to focus the narrative on addressing underlying causes of the problem and not their symptoms. Secondly, manage adaptively. You need to be able to grab opportunities when they present themselves and that requires flexibility. It's important not to be constrained by the logic you apply to how you thought change would unfold when you develop the proposal. The final and perhaps most important lesson is to really invest in social capital. Set inclusion as a goal on its own rather than a side thought. You can do that by having a presence in the field but also being present in the boardroom and ultimately be prepared to make a long-term investment.